All right, we're on page 365. We're looking at standardized test example two, find the possible side lengths. If the measures of two sides of a triangle are three and seven, what is the least possible number for the third side? So we know that we have a side that is three and a side that is seven. So what that means is for the triangle inequality, subtract those two numbers. Okay, take your bigger minus your smaller, that's four. And then add those two numbers, three plus seven. That's gonna give you the range of side lengths for your triangle. So the length X of your triangle must be greater than four, but less than 10. Okay, so if we're looking at this question, which is the least possible whole number measure for the third side? It says that X has to be greater than four. So four is not an answer. So we can rule out A and B. Okay, so the answer is going to be C here. C is the smallest possible whole number measure here. All right, so let's look at the example two here. Which of the following could not be a value of n? Okay, so we've got to find the range of lengths for this side n. So we're going to find the difference of these two numbers and the sum of these numbers. So we're going to do 13 minus 9. Okay, and then we're going to do 13, whoops, 13 plus 9. Okay, so it has to be at least 4, so the side x, or actually we're using n here. So n has to be greater than 4, but then less than 22. So that means that if you look, it says which of the following could not be the value of n? 7 is in our range between 4 and 22. 13 and 10 are also in our range. J, 22 is not in our range. 22 is too big. It has to be less than 22. So the answer to number 2 here is going to be J.